Friends, in the preceding uh, video, I uh, showed you how to uh, sandcast foundry method to, and this is the pattern that uh, I uh, cast this uh, part that I have mounted in the lathe. So in this uh, video, I'll have it kind of chopped up. I'll show you some of the processes I use to machine this part. Okay, one of the first things I have to do here is uh, machine this flat here. Then I'll be able to grip it in, uh, grip it to machine the other side. I'm using outside jaws here, holding the part like that there. So let's just uh, get started here. Now I've uh, set up uh, the tool to uh, uh, surface this side here. That's called facing. So I'm just going to hand feed it here and uh, give myself a little bit of control. You can actually do automatic uh, feed on all of these operations. Okay, that side's done. Basically just two cuts to get to that stage there. Anyway, I'll take that out and uh, put uh, other jaws in the lathe and we'll do a little machining on the other side. We'll be done in a few minutes. Okay, I've got it set up to uh, machine the other side. I've uh, machined off this area here where I uh, poured the metal in there so and started a cut there. I'm going to try automatic feed this time. It uh, squeals a little bit but uh, it uh, hopefully do a good job there. So that's what it looks like, all machined off there. Now the only other part here is I'm going to machine this up, I've, uh, this surface. I've uh, got that already set up to do. So far I haven't had any particular dimensions to work to. Uh, the next thing that will be done, of course, will be to do the hole in the center and that will have to be done accurate because that has to fit on a shaft. So I'll just uh, give this a shot here and we'll... Okay, what I'm doing here is a little trick that uh, I've used over the years. I want to uh, put a shaft through here, but before I do that, uh, I want to have a keyway. So what I'm going to, what I've marked out is a, on the lathe a little circle of the diameter of shaft that I want to use. And right on the edge of that, I'm going to drill a hole. Uh, all the way through before I make the hole. That way I have a little slot for a keyway and you can clean that up with the edge of a file or whatever. It just saves uh, having to buy a brooch to make a keyway. But this is a super simple way to make a keyway and uh, in, in any t to fit a, a slot in a shaft there. Anyway, we'll just go ahead with this operation. And uh, OK, 
Okay, the next operation will to be drill a, a special uh, hole in the center, and we use what we call a center drill for that. Just uh, and that will uh, locate the exact center. Uh, if you use just a straight drill to start out with, without a, you might call this a center punch mark anyway, and uh, otherwise the drill will wander off center. You can see the size that I want to enlarge it to with that little ring, but I uh, can't do that all at once, so I'll start out with a smaller drill. I'm going to use a half inch, see how this goes. Okay, I've uh, changed to a larger drill. I've gone right to uh, one inch drill, that's the largest I have. Uh, it should work quite well, being the aluminum is soft. Now to Whenever you go to a larger drill, you have to reduce the speed, so this will be drilling at a slower rate. Okay, I've got the boring bar set up, as you can see here. I'm going to try to do this, uh, and I've got it on automatic feed. We'll just run one cut here. I'm just hand holding this. A little awkward here, but... Okay, I'm getting down to uh, just fitting, fitting the shaft now. I've uh, measured the shaft and find out that it's 675 thousandths of an inch. I use that uh, adjustable uh, inside caliper, you might say, and then measured it with the micrometer and it reads 634. I subtract those two, I get uh, 0 0.041 metal to be removed. Now then I have to divide that by two because the metal is rotating and uh, you're cutting on one side so you're actually cutting uh, double. So I'm going to try a cut there at uh, 0 0.020 and if I come over here to the cross slide I have it uh, set for zero. Oops, that's the wrong way. And then if I go, there's 10, 20. And I'm going to make a cut, just a little bit of a cut, and then check my shaft. I don't suspect it will be uh, too, uh, too big, as I've got 1,000s there left over. Okay, there we have it all done, basically. Um, the uh, shaft just barely slides in there, a nice fit. And uh, I took a file and cleaned up that uh, hole a little bit there where that I made for the keyway. A very easy way to make a keyway in, a, in something. Just drill a hole uh, ooh, and uh, then machine it out. There we go. I guess the next step is going to be making a series of holes around the outside edge for uh, the indexing head for my wood lathe. The last operation that I'm doing on my uh, index wheel here is to drill 72 holes all around the outside. To do this, I'm using uh, indexing head that I was able to get a loan from and uh, it's working extremely well. This uh, part here has degrees marked around it all the way from 0 to 360 and then this hand wheel also has degrees and marking, markings on it 
one full turn of this wheel gives me four degrees here. So anyway, I'll show you how it works here. I've set the, I'm using a center drill here, so I get a hole plus a bevel, which I think will work well. And I've set a stop, uh, so I can only drill so far. So let's give it a shot here. There's a little lock here. Let's move it to five degrees. Once I get started here, it's a no-brainer. got just about done. Just the last uh, two holes. And if I do a check here, bring it to zero, see how uh, active it is. It goes right into the hole, so that's super. That 72 holes in there, just extreme, uh, very accurately placed. These uh, indexing heads are fantastic uh, to use. You need to divide uh, something up. Um, it's so degrees here, and then between each of these, you've also got uh, 60 divisions. So you've got uh, uh, a full degree, and then uh, a 60th of each degree. I believe that would probably call the second. And then there's a vernier on here that you can even get it more accurate yet, uh, or a smaller division there. So I just have this one on loan from a friend, but uh, might be something I'd like to get if I'm going to do much of this. On my indexing head here, I'm putting another multiple of uh, holes on one side of it here. The uh, reason for that is it gives me more selections. The last ones were done at 5 degrees apart, which gave me 72 holes. and. Uh, this side, I'm doing nine degrees apart. Okay, that's the one thing there. And it's a good idea to make a, a chart with all your degrees on, so you don't uh, don't get mixed up. And uh, the trouble is, I can't remember what it was. Okay, I'm 215 now, so now I got to go to 224. 